It's day 21 of our 40 days of prayer to kick off 2021. I want to apologize for the audio quality of yesterday's video as I was having microphone issues. We've been praying for God to help us rebuild our sense of faith in Him because 2020 was filled with so much difficulty that it was hard at times to feel like God was with us and helping us, but He has been. And we've also been praying for God to rebuild our sense of community because with the lack of in-person church, the difficulty in getting together with other people, it's been hard to feel connected. And yet we still are connected. And we've been praying for God to help us to see that He is with us through the valley of the shadow of death, through all the difficulties that we face, and that we still have the connections with one another. And we can utilize different media, different technology, phone calls. Just being able to pray for one another is such an important aspect of feeling like we're all working together on the same team, part of the same faith family, guided by the same vision, filled with the one spirit that he's given to us to unite us. So next we pray for the mission that he has us on. Now over the past few days, weeks, months, even years, a lot of time, energy, uh, and money has been spent on pursuing different agendas, whether political agendas or social agendas. And, and many of those things are very important and good for us to, to, to engage in, but those are not the things that are really going to transform our society and bring life where there is deadness. What we need, what we need is we need Jesus. We need a Savior. And are we spending time, energy, you know, even devoting our resources to being able to proclaim the name of Jesus? This is our mission and our calling as Christians because we know what saves people. We know what transforms communities. We know what actually satisf satisfies people's hearts. We know what what godly justice is, not the temporary form of it or a, a socially constructed form of it, but biblical justice that's based on God's values and God's holiness. And we need to proclaim Him, and we need to let other people know about Him. Now in Acts 21, Paul's on his way back to Jerusalem, and when he, he's at Philip's house, Agabus takes Paul's belt and binds his hands and says, Paul, this is what's going to happen to you. But Paul's willing to endure it as long as Jesus Christ is made known. And that's our prayer, too. So let's pray that, that the gospel mission would be front and center. It would be our focus. Don't forget to pray for a couple other people, and I'll see you tomorrow.